Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick tip for somebody called Jack Cook. Now Jack sent me this little message uh, and it's a slightly unusual one. He is using a Tyrannus to control some rigging on an RC boat and he is interested in making it so that he can very easily set both the upper and lower position or, or limit of travel I guess because he's using the throttle by the sound of it for part of the rigging and he's having to re-rig it because of the way he has to transport the boat so the position of the rigging is slightly different every time and he just wants to be able to tweak that quite quickly without going into the radio and chimping about setting the endpoints. Now this is a nice interesting one and again it's something that you can do with OpenTX. Now if I just create a brand new model here and have a look around. Uh, the way this kind of works is that what you're looking for in something like this is the ability to set the travel in uh, in a way that you can control with a switch slider or a control. Now normally we'd be playing around in things like inputs and mixes uh, but before I show you the answer just as a kind of a fun thing over these dark nights if you want to kind of stop the video here Go and grab Companion or your radio and have a go trying to figure out yourself. This is the point to do it. If you're not interested in having a go and seeing how you can figure this out as a little bit of a mental exercise, then stay with me. I'll cover how you do it. I would always recommend when you're doing things like this is just to flick through all of the different outputs looking for where potentially you can control the travel of the channel. And you probably spotted it there. In outputs, you can define the travel, both the minimum and the maximum, by using a global variable. And that is the trick. So what I've done, let me show you in the endpoint adjustment. Let me simulate it first to show you how it works. Uh, you have both minimum and maximum uh, travel for, I've just put it on the aileron channel for this uh, particular demo. So the aileron channel, is set for channel four and we have full range plus 100 minus 100 so say jack sets it up and uh, puts it right the way across there 100 percent but that's too much for the rigging that he's got set uh he can use s2 to kind of bring that down to the level that is right for super and then he can put it in the other direction and then again use s1 to kind of bring that up to the level that he's happy with and then the travel is set for that particular build. And all I'm doing is actually pretty simple. Got into special functions and I've uh, said this is nothing to do with a switch or with anything else. Just have them on all the time. Adjust two global variables that we can use in that output section of uh, companion or the radio and use the source as these two inputs. Now all those two inputs are if I go back into inputs, is they are the two rotary controls, but edited slightly so that we only get a direction in either a positive or negative number. Because if you remember on Tyrannus, middle channel position is zero and it goes to minus 100 and plus 100. We don't really do that. We have one, one control giving us uh, a reduction in the top end and the other control giving us an increase in the other. So that's the way we've got it. We've got the lower trim set as that and then we've got the upper travel or trim set like that so what that means is now in outputs i can say for the aileron channel just use global variable one and global variable two to set my minimum and maximum travel and this is the kind of stuff in OpenTX that's just really really smart um, again nobody's given me something to do on OpenTX that i haven't yet been able to do so again, we simulate that and uh, with the controls at their maximum position. So maximum height, maximum uh, low position, we get 100%. And then all you do is you kind of pop it into the position and then use S2 to reduce the travel at the top end of that channel. And you use S1 to just take off a little bit off the end to give you the travel that you need. 
So, Jack, that is the answer. Hopefully that helps. And hopefully for those of you, that's another little trick that you can use uh, if you don't want to go into this screen on your radio and play about with all this stuff. And again, if Companion is something you don't play with, I'd recommend you download it and play with it. Uh, see my earlier videos in all the OpenTX Mix School videos on the channel, link in description, to where I do a lot more stuff on this radio. It's just for doing things like this, this is a far easier way to show you. But each of these screens, is mirroring exactly what you get as you tap through the menu on something like a Tyranus QX7 or similar radio. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media and if you like the video and like what I'm doing here then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists, so if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction 2, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.